Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So today I have an epic happy mail share for you, sent to me all the way from Henderson in Nevada by Kim Newsom. Now, Henderson in Nevada is just a few miles away from Las Vegas. It's just southeast a little bit from Las Vegas. And for once, I received this happy mail. When I looked at the address, I thought, ooh, I've actually been. So I know what Henderson looks like. I've actually visited there a couple of years ago, in fact on my last trip to Las Vegas a few years ago. So it's always nice when I can picture a place where something's been sent from. So thank you Kim, that's fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my overhead camera and I'm going to show you this, um, the contents of this epic box that arrived through the post. So this is the epic box that I received. I've obviously covered over Kim's um, address for privacy reasons because she doesn't want strangers knocking on her door. Um, and this, what was inside. So obviously we've got some little um, pillows for safety. And there was a little note from Kim, just a little private note. Um, which was absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I just wanted to make sure there was nothing written on there. That was, that was just a little private note. Beautiful, lovely steampunky images. I love that. Absolutely love it. I love those moths. They're cool. So, right, I'm going to have to, as I'm doing this, obviously move things out of the way because there's so much. So, Inside, look, there's a bundle of fat quarters, some absolute stunning pieces of fabric. Now, immediately, I'm thinking, dog tooth, could I make a cravat or a kind of scarf for my steampunk costumes out of this? <laughs> Probably, possibly. Another beautiful piece, look at that, almost. Chinesey in design, like Chinese fans. A beautiful red, absolute stunning red. A gorgeous piece. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Just slightly speechless on this. I've not. I mean, I've had the box for a, for a week or two, um, but and I did very very cursory glance inside but I've not actually looked um, fully at the contents. I mean look, just beautiful pieces of fabric, absolutely gorgeous. Now in her note to me, Kim says that I, obviously if I can make use of these things then that's great but if there's some bits and pieces that I can't I can um, pass them on. Um, now my mum is going to be here tomorrow and I know, I know full well that if she sees that fabric It'll go. It'll disappear. So, at least I know it's going to a good home. Okay, so what else have we got? We've got some metal findings, some fantastic steampunky metal findings. Ooh. Always, always handy. Ooh, look at that one. It's like a ship's wheel. Always, always welcome little steampunky items for mixed media canvases and I've actually started making um, bits of um, steampunk jewellery. Now not to sell or anything um, but just because I wanted to. <laughs> if I get a chance I'll show you a piece that I made um, in a little while. So we've got some buttons, I'm not going to take all those buttons out. So again Look at this, little nuggets of happiness. I love those bags. They are cool. Uh, another paper bag, again, with some lovely foiled um, dots on. Uh, I think I did remember opening this. Oh, some jigsaw pieces. I never thought of actually using jigsaw pieces on an art journal page. But that's a real cool idea. So thank you for those, Kim. I love it when I get um, items that I would never have thought of using. So epoxy stickers, bottle cap ink, some really sweet. I do have some bottle caps somewhere, I've got some Budweiser caps somewhere. Not that I'm a big drinker, but I do have some in my collection. 
of bottle caps, well not a collection of bottle caps, but I've got a few bottle caps kicking around in my junk drawer. So I'm just quickly trying to find one. Ah, there we go. So very useful. Carlsberg. Lovely. Not my favourite. Budweiser is my favourite. They're great. So we've also got some oh, napkins. Again, some cool textures, colour combos, and little birdies. Look at that. Oh, actually, I just had a thought. I'm going to take one of those. <laughs> and put that to one side. Yes, immediately I have a use. I have an immediate use for one. And, oh look, what? Seriously? Oh my gee. I'm gonna put those safe. I've never seen napkins with octopuses on. I love octopuses. Sissies, sissies, sissies. Another set of napkins, serviettes, whatever you want to call them. I'm trying to keep the tissue. So again, beautiful colour combos. Lovely. Look at that. I love the red and the blue with that cream background. Merboides, more butterflies. You can never have enough butterflies. I know it's a graphic cliche, but if it works, it works. And Paris, beautiful little ones. They're like cocktail napkins. Okay, next, another little envelope. As you can see, not opened. It's just such a lot of it. Ooh. Gold tape. Let's see what little gems are in here. Oh, more jigsaw pieces. Excellent. Love these little bags. Where from? Brother Sister Design Studio. So they can go. Ephemera, Grand Canyon, Hoover Dam. Oh, I wonder where these have come from. The tourist office. God, I think I've already got that one. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Love anything like that. Somebody once sent me a fishing map, which was really cool. So this says floral embe embellishments by recollections. So these are paper flowers, which are really sweet, aren't they? Look at those. Like those. Quite a few of those in. So Recollections, I think, is a, is a Michaels brand. Don't quote me on that. I seem to remember. They're nice. I like the colour combos. And that's sometimes just having the right colour combo is enough to spark your imagination for a project. So we have a McCall's pattern. I'm not going to take it all out, but again, great for adding texture to the backs of um, art journal pages. Pages from a French poster book. Yep, cool. Lovely little imageries for use as ephemera or even multiple focal points. Excellent, love it. Then we have manga pages. Oh, cool. Excellent stuff. That's something I don't have currently. 
Well, do now. And then we have... These are pages from a 1972 printing of a children's book originally published in 1889. Some of the little sayings are odd, but I like the illustrations. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, they're cool. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. 1972, not yet out of copyright, but the illustrations themselves, oh wow, look, Kim, why did you not keep these for yourself? Oh, oh look at the parrot, oh that's going to be so difficult to choose which side, I'm probably going to have to scan them, look at that. The Sailor Boy's Christmas Thoughts of Home are... Sailor Boy is homesick. I bet he is. Okay, let's move on. I think there was something already wrapped up in those. And they have... Some pages may have already been wrapped up in those. Alright, let's see what else. Paper stack. Again, great colour combos, nice dark, grungy. Don't know whether these are Tim Holtz, they don't look Tim Holtzy. But great little back ins. Cool for ATCs, cool for tags. Add some more. Nice watercolour backgrounds. Yep, like, 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 like. Love the typewriters and the wood effects. Oh, that's quite thick. Is there more than one in there? Yes, there is. Brilliant paper. Absolutely. Love it. Okay, another tissue wrap. More serious napkins. Look. I'm getting neck. I'm going to have to move the box. I'm getting neck egg. Okay. So, oof. Just look at those. See, some of the napkins you get are works of art on their own. Absolutely fantastic. Let's open that one up. Come on, fingers. There you go. Just that. Right, let's grab a 8x8 sheet. That's a sheet of 8x8. Come on, focus. Thank you. It, practically done. No. Well, practically covered. They're a gift, an absolute gift. I know they are a gift, but I mean they're a gift as in artistically. Because stick that down on the back of an art journal page and you're just about done. I mean. Cool. Gold. The only problem with stuff like this is that as soon as you put paint over the top it dulls it all down, which is a huge, huge, huge shame. But there you go, just some nice pattern. And Coca-Cola ones. Excellent. Not that I do branding. Not sponsored by Coca-Cola. Excellent stuff. Right, let's put those to one side and see what else is in this box. Ooh. All right, magazine and book clippings. Let's just move that Grand Canyon stuff to one side. Royal Dal book. Kim, I love the way you've told me where these are from. It's absolutely fantastic. The illustrations are fabulous. Ha <laughs> ha, love him. Oh yes. Oh, perfect for a Halloween page. Look at her. <laughs> cool, love them. Uh, this image is from mm, volume six, the Frontier American Heritage series. 
cool. Love the ship. Of course, text, pa text bits, which can be used. Brilliant. The Age of Steel. So these images and thoughts of anyone can do something awesome with these. It's me. Haha. <laughs> Oh wow. Ah, look! Oh, don't you just love? Wow. Thomas Edison. Cool. Well, these are almost steampunky on their own right. Make way for the iron horse. Fabulous. Look at that. Beautiful illustrations in these. Just absolutely gorgeous. Oh. Oh. Love it. California Copa Cornucopia World. <laughs> Gone crazy. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Oh, and, and just look, I mean, come on. Oh, just brilliant. Wow. Kim, they're stunning, absolutely stunning. And then we have some beautiful illustrations. You see, this is what I miss about not buying magazines. And I do get the occasional one, but none of them have illustrations and stuff in like this. I mean, look. Good old Andy and Marilyn. Oh, some people are born with charisma. <laughs> yeah. Look at these. Lovely, lovely illustrations. Well, not illustrations, but photographs. Cool. James Stewart. Claudette Colbert. The Brill. Absolutely brilliant. Jack Benny. Possibly. Whatever you can see. Looks. Yep, Jack Benny. There you go. Boris Karloff. In his palatial mansion. Lula Bankhead, Miriam Hopkins, Rita Hayworth and Orson Welles. I wonder if that's the same pool. Some cool photographs. Love that. Kim, there's enough material here to keep me going forever. Russian film posters. Let's stick together still. And these are glossy as well, look. See the shine. Just cool. Oh wow. Give me all sorts of ideas. All sorts of... You snuck that one in there, didn't you, Kim? Just snuck that one in. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, we've got to have a visitor now. Yep. <laughs> cool. That's cool. Who's that? Doesn't say. It's a nice picture. I like the fact that the lights. Excellent. Ooh. Lunch. With the snake. There's some great collage images in here. Fabulous. Kim, they're absolutely brilliant and enough to, you know, spark the imagination and... Yay. Absolutely cool. Wow, 
That's all I can say is just wow. And wow again. So Kim, absolute stunning collection of stuff. I'm so appreciative and so grateful for you thinking of me to send that stuff to. So I thank you once again and Dave the Dalek says thank you too. So that's all from me for today for that epic happy mail share. Um, if you enjoyed watching that, please give it a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from us for now. We will see you again later. Bye for now.